617. We're out here early. Yeah. How did uh, hips feel after last week? Really, really good. How long did it last for? I, mean, I just, everything we do, I haven't done every day, single day. So. Oh, nice. So. I know you got that memory where <laughs> yeah. just, you'll go at, with it. Yes. Yeah, well, let me check day. out hip range. Go ahead, lie back for okay. me. Make this look like a baby sized table, but it's not <laughs> average sized. Oh, yeah, that's way smoother. I think we still want to open up that rotation. But your internal rotation feels smoother just after a week. Ooh, check that out. Man. I was going to say, I was going to show you a lot more rotational work today, which we already did quite a bit last time. How has 50-50 chance left hip been feeling? What, was when I was tripping? Yeah. No, I think it was this one. Right? Has it been tripping the last week? Well, I think, I, I forgot, to be honest. Um, which one was bugging? Um, yeah, let's check it out. Oh, oh, my foot? It was left hip, right foot. Yeah, right, yeah. Right if I, if heel. I, yeah, heel. Any sensitivity to the touch? Mm. Where's it been bugging? Like upper, like out, more like more than like outside, yeah, over outside some though. Heel. No, that's all fine. All right, so we'll work. Yeah, Some of the, the push it on the bottom. Well, I got you here, because I'll have you flip over. Okay, flexion's good. Let's open up some more of this IR. So I'm going to get you to that end range. Same concepts that we did last week. Where okay. I'm push, meet my resistance. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. Beautiful. Any pinching there? Uh-uh. All right, let's give it to me. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> Quick, let's go one more here. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Beautiful. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, we'll have fun in that range. You're not going to like me as much. <laughs> This external rotation is really, really good. If anything, just meet my resistance here. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. Beautiful. One more good one here. There it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. The side is open up a ton. All right, match my resistance here. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I've even been making up some of my own exercises. They're like similar to it, but like adding like weight and stuff. Perfect. Four, three, two, one. We didn't really discuss it, but I figured you were just gonna take a lot of the stuff we did and work it in, which is nice. If anything. Go ahead and relax here. Perfect. Yep. Three, two, one. Try to relax that side. There we go. Match me. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. I think I should have worn shorts and a t-shirt. Go ahead, give me one more <laughs> good one. Five, four, three, two, one. No offense to the Grandma Sally's out there, but they don't make me work nearly as hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they go, the hips so even? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, actually, whatever we did it to the hips last week definitely helps. I feel like, um, uh, when you've taken I, I like, I like hit, I was like hitting like squat numbers that I probably have hit in like a like year or two. Well, and you've kept that, actually you have more range than when I checked it when we finished last time. Uh-huh. And that had some quick change, so. If anything, we'll see if 
much is changing. <clears throat> Pull me off the damn table. <laughs> I got some strength. <laughs> Might not be as much, but I got some strength. Beautiful. Go ahead, flip it over. Let me check out. Is that? Have you noticed more calf tightness on that right side? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I mean, but it's been. You know how I am. Like when I felt it, I freaking started. Um, Doing grassings on my calf and massage oh, yeah. it and, and Just like smashing heel, it. heel stretches. So like, yeah. Where is the the focal point, Ben? Through like, so like mid. It was really bad. Like like Saturday, I think I had pro I had pro agility shuttles, and I just like yep. I planted really hard and pushed out, and it just got got like some, got swollen. It's more it's more swell swollen pain from swelling yeah. than actual than like pain pain. If that makes sense. How does it feel right through here? Fine. Have you been feeling it more like? Yeah, more like bottom, bottom outside heel. Through here? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, go back. Yeah, there's a little bit of, especially right through here. Is there any sensitivity there? Mm-hmm. Perfect. So let me loosen up calf first then. What does it feel like to you? Definitely some thickening right here on the outside, which could be swelling because it's kind of soft. Um, but it's right off of where the insertion would be from the Achilles. So anything, it just might be some connective tissue adjacent to those structures that got a little irritated. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Either way, I, we'll attack it. Yeah, I've got a majority of the, of the swelling out. I've been like stretching it and like and, and, and rolling it out. Mm -hmm. You recover fast, so. Yeah. I've seen you worse. <laughs> no, for real. Won't tell the scout, scouts that, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you, um, did you ever reach out to um, the whole girl? To who? Rachel. Oh, um, I followed her. I haven't reached out to, to uh, get, I got to set up like my podcast schedule. Oh, okay. Which, by the way, I got to set you up on there, too. Oh, yeah, let's get it. But, yeah, she's got a lot of uh, the same trainings I do as far as, like, mobility techniques and stuff like that, which is really cool. It's rare in a, in a massage therapist. Yeah, she be calling herself hide, hide in the sauce. I show her trying to post shit. She thinks somebody's going to steal it. I'm like, bro. I'm like, man, bro. I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. And she's out of Dearborn? Yeah. Okay. That's where her like clinic is or whatever. Yeah, I'll have to come check that out. Let me grab some needles. Make sure camera's still on. Oh, he's got that. That's the shooting podcast fear in me. Where I shot a pot. You remember the interns that were at Reach? Yeah. Did they, they open up their own spot? Yeah, they're in Livonia. Um, really cool spot. Oh, you've been there? Yeah, I've been there and I had him on the, the podcast and like halfway through it just stopped. Just no rhyme or reason. So I don't know if there's like a magic word mm -hmm. you say that stops it that I accidentally <laughs> set up. But we're still rolling here. What's uh what's what's Brooklyn saying with you, with you waking up all early? Um I try to sneak out of the bed. <laughs> Does that work? Said uh, said goodbye. Well, she's got to wake up at six, so she's up now. Oh, okay. She, uh, for the next month, she's working at a store in Howell. Howell? Mm-hmm. She starts at eight. Oh Lord, not Howell. <laughs> she's not excited about it, but. 
Home of the KKK, baby. Is it really? Oh yeah, that's where the uh, the Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan was born. Is it still there? Uh, yeah, in Cahokta. Well, the old Klan house is still there. I mean, if the actual KKK is there, they wouldn't tell me. So. Oh yeah, that's true. I, should, <laughs> like, I shouldn't I'm, be asking you. Right? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not originally from this area, so like, interesting hearing some history. Not all history is good history, though. Man. Which is crazy, because since I've been in this area, it is nothing but diversity. So you just go, oh, yeah, you just I mean, go 30, 40 minutes uh, west of here, and it's just different. Huh? And shit gets crazy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I know you're a veteran. And since we're here, might as well. No issues on the other side. Is that what? No issues on the um, left side. Not for real, but maybe just since I'm kind of doing like more of like a recovery type of week. Okay. Maybe we, we just, you know what I'm saying, just go old school where we need to, um, you know how we used to back in the day, calves, hamstrings, and then quads. Because we won't be at a needle, well, we'll be at a needle, we'll be at a needle next week too. Mm -hmm. Just not. Um, I'll bring it. I forgot uh, the East Stem units at the office. I'm going to have to just buy one for. Just traveling. We'll still get the dosage, but. Working with you, I know you like that East Tim. Oh yeah. I think I'll just get more value out of needles right now. Cause like, I, have, I, haven't, I haven't done them in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we've talked about this. Yeah, we're, I think one time, I think we were over, yeah. overdoing it. <laughs> I don't think I was getting needles like three or four times a week one time. <laughs> well, but, like, especially when you're in, I mean, obviously you're always training like every single day, but when you're in recovery phase, it's nice, but treatment, I always feel like you should wean off certain, especially needling, just because it's such a powerful tool. Yeah that just to keep it at its like maximum effective dose, like mixing in some soft tissue every now and then just to make sure the nervous system doesn't adapt to it too, too fast. Yeah, that's why I started getting massage, like getting like massage, like I, I've never been a massage guy. Mm. Never, ever, ever, always they were pointless. Mm. And I started, then I started seeing like the, the benefit of it, the boost in recovery. Oh yeah. And I never really realized that that was, that that was also like soft tissue work. Yeah. And then we have like a, 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 good, a good one. You, you know. get, I mean, it's just like uh, massage, there's so many different types, just like chiropractic. Most people think of just uh, adjusting, mm -hmm. um, but there's those rare ones Obviously, I'm tooting my own horn a little bit. But <laughs> there's those rare ones that are versed in a ton of different techniques. Uh -huh. Same thing with massage. Like most of it's like, you know, something you get your mom as a gift card. You know, go go feel relaxed. But there's some sports recovery. A lot of them will do like, Graston scraping. Some ART. It's crazy how far the recovery world's come in just a short amount of time. You got like Normatec boots and stuff at home? Oh, you know I got the Normatecs. I ain't gonna cap though. I don't use my Normatecs as much as I should though. You don't? <laughs> I go through like seasons where I'm like Normatec, Normatec, Normatec. All or nothing? And then sometimes I just be like, all right, I'm vibing.
I think like Normatex, when I be like hurt, I think I, I use them more as like, a, I rock with Normatex more as a warm up dog to get that blood flowing before practice, to be honest. Oh, okay. Like pre-game, pre-practice, like I like, I like Normatex. It gets that blood flowing. Yeah. You don't have to warm up as hard as much. Oh, I totally get that. I mean, our recoveries are probably different. <laughs> you're probably doing way more than I am. I found Normatex, like, if I crush a legs day, if I Normatex that same day, mm -hmm. I don't feel as sore. I don't get, like, that delayed onset muscle soreness. I agree. Nearly as much. I never thought to do it beforehand, though, but. We didn't say it's like it's warming you up, you know? It makes sense. See if there's any rehab stuff we need to do for the ankle or heel. Like it's such a weird area. It's like all you really can do is roll it and stretch it. So I, I had it happen to me like a, in, a, in, a, in college one time. Mm -hmm. And I've always found for my body, kind of just like, Taking it easier, but like not stopping and getting that ring. A lot of times for me, bro, once I get the swelling, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I know that's like how it is for everyone, but like, <laughs> like yeah, like I just be like, my shit more so just be like quick inflama inflammation, and then once I get the inflammation, I'm cool. Yeah. Like. Yeah, you just need and to then find keeping that. It, and then keeping it active, like, because with this, the more I walk around and it loosens up, like I be cool. But I was just like, they're just like, like if I had a game to play, I could play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like right now, you could just tell something's different. Yeah, like it's it's, it's it's bugging me, especially in the mornings. But I've been going like, you know, I fucking hate having to do it. But like I've been the past two days, I've been like icing for twenty minutes, three times a day, cause I gotta get the inflammation out. Yeah. But I already know like, once the inflammation's out, I already know I'm gonna be cool. I mean, you're just like me. If you don't feel 100%, you know, just something. No, you know what I'm saying? Something needs to be done. But it's been crazy because, like, with me not with me not running or jumping, like my my like weight room numbers have been like astronomical. It's so crazy how much like two, running, yeah. how much running and shit like that takes energy away from you. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, that's where you're getting most of that. Power, obviously, that's where athleticism comes from. But I'm like, if I was a pilot, bro, oh my god, these fools, I would be killing everybody. Oh yeah. Oh, I've seen you throw some weight around. Oh yeah. Like you're it's just what your body has to adapt to. I mean, if you were just doing static, or well, technically all movements dynamic, but like powerlifting, where. You're in static positions, moving weight. Like, no offense to the power lifters, but that's it takes a totally different training and adaptive strategy for that, opposed to cutting, running, getting multi-directional. Because it's all about like what your nervous system adapts to. So easy to adapt to a squat, deadlift, bench, opposed to you don't know what. 300 pound guy is going to be pushing you <laughs> around. Your force development has to be for me. Got the needles on. <laughs> you know I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Someday, I mean, when you get, you have me get up at five in the morning. <laughs> that's why I mean, that's I'm why, thinking about that's it. Saying, like, the brain might not be all the way on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this one lady who I didn't really know that well. She was cracking jokes like that. I'm like, dude, I don't know you well enough. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> she was kneeling right on my feet. And I was like, I'm like, are they all out? She's like, no, you're about to just step. I'm like, dude, I don't fucking, I don't know you well enough to know yeah, 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 how good yeah. you are. I don't. <laughs> yeah, you got to be on that good rapport. Like if I pulled that like first visit, you'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> like imagine if you just forgot. Um, 
I mean, errors can occur, but <laughs> luckily, like, this is bright room. You're the only thing I'm focusing on. <laughs> it's like when you're in the, like, in my normal treatment room, you kind of, sometimes you, like, you're running through the motions. So it's kind of nice being in a different setting for this. Oh, yeah. I knew you were in, like, I saw what I was telling you, but I knew you were in, like, the vibe in here. Oh, yeah. I can tell you uh, my high school did not have a training facility <laughs> like this. Wait till you see our freaking, our, our STEM building that's almost done. You probably see it when you were coming in. The, the, yeah. Where that, where, where it's being. In got, that like main entrance area? Yeah. What's going there? Uh, STEM building. That's where we have uh, robotics, flight club, all types of shit going Dude, on. Dude, this is high school, like what? It's like we just, well this is where you came, so I'm sure it was a little bit different than like a traditional like public school. Oh but, yeah. But it's like, you know, we got the algebra, physics. Yeah, no, they, they got fucking engineering here, <laughs> like. Dude, that's, you come here to get I, that. I would love to dabble, like, I don't know if I told you this, but my first career or post high school education, I was actually going for computer networking. Okay. And obviously this is where I ended up. So I always think it's crazy at that young age having to like commit to something. Mm -hmm. But like if you were, if you got to dabble with it within your like high school education. Exactly. I feel like. You, you would know, hey, I could, I could go further into these concepts. They like it definitely gives you more exposure. So you don't have to fuck around too long at college before mm -hmm. knowing exactly what you want to do. No, that's why I treat a lot of high school athletes. Uh, obviously, I always ask, like, oh, what about college and stuff? I'm like, I just this, take gen eds. Don't, such, don't commit to anything. Yeah, it's such like a cliche question. Where are you going? What do you want to study? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even like asking little motherfuckers that no more. <laughs> I don't know, but what's the answer is definitely well, changing a lot I, I, more. You hear a lot of you hear a lot of YouTubers. You hear a lot more like okay. You hear a lot more. I'm thinking about going to trade school. You hear a lot of like mm -hmm. real estate. A lot of kids are understanding now. Like if they're not going to a specialized career, the debt might not be worth it. Oh my gosh, how things have just changed. Because I just hit my ten year post high school, and. Going through, so I grew up through like the recession and stuff. Mm -hmm. My dad, who's a master plumber, he's like third or fourth generation plumber. He did not want me to go into the trades. He pushed school, but it's weird just in a decade how it's come full circle. Like if, oh, I, had yeah, a, now if I had a kid right now, I'd be like, are you sure you want to go to school? Look at all these opportunities where you're not going into major debt. Bro, but the trades is making the, is making the money now. Oh yeah, and people don't want to do it. Like talking to my dad still, like, like, bro, like they can't are find like, help. Yeah, plumbers like are like six figure earners now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like you come out of school. What do you think? Only like ten percent. Eh, I'm totally guessing, but it's definitely not a majority of people coming out of. Uh, college are making six figures and yeah, just... probably closer to eight percent. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I like... mean, you gotta think about the average income, the, the average like household income in America now is like fluctuates between 30, between like 37 and 42 thousand, which is crazy with the yeah, cost are... of everything going up, huh? Especially with like inflation, the cost of oh, everything yeah. going up. I mean, I am not a you might be more versed in that kind of stuff. I don't really look into it, but just from a observational perspective, things are definitely different. But what I have learned is like, it's all about, it's all about money management though. Oh. I think I seem like, Do you, know been, huh? you know what's been the most boring thing, but it's been a game changer for what? me? Budgeting. Oh yeah, no problem. So I'm, I, I mean, I'm telling I'm, you bro. I don't spend money I don't have. But when you actually take time out of your day to actually look at where things are going, uh -huh. 
different perspective. Actually, yeah. it's not hard to save money, but you, you just have to train it. It's yeah. just like anything. Like you don't just start a budget and then here's money. It's like you got you see that um, savings over time. Go ahead. Let's let's get active. All right. Go ahead. Stand up. I'll get the table out of the way for now. I'm gonna put. Some how's spot on. how's actually let me check the pelvis while i have you here okay go ahead and lie down again for me i was just thinking quickly of like what, what i want to do we'll probably start in some like 90 90 stuff i can show you some more rotation getting into that hip because you really like like that med ball toss yeah um i can show you a way you can do it do you have any like kettlebells yeah. At home? Uh, well, I know you have. Well, you train here anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's like a minute and a half from my this home. This is your house. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, face me on your side this way. Nice hips, just a little bit closer. The folks get to see my better end. <laughs> sure did some some pause squats before we started filming. <laughs> nice deep breath in, all the way out. Dang, look at, you, look at you rolling. No, I did a lot. Deep breath in. I did a lot of thoracic work yesterday. All the way out. Yep, the small table. Uh, <laughs> that one got it. Oh, uh, side. Uh, let's, let me see. Uh, yeah, other side. Well, usually I'm not, I'm not used to you rotating that much, so I'm like, not that you're ba you have bad rotation, but. No, I definitely don't do as much thrust. I was like, this is your normal end range when I'm setting you up, and it's like, wait, you're still going? Yeah, if anything, it was probably this side. Oh, on your back for me. Nice. All right. You go ahead and get back. Get up. We'll probably start with some 90-90 work so we can work into both rotations. Okay. So let's let's mirror each other first. So I'm gonna have you come down into I know you're familiar with like a 90-90 yeah. position. So just to warm up the ranges, we're just gonna do basically some torso rotation. So you're gonna to rotate towards this backside. That's gonna get internal rotation on the backside. Okay. As you hinge forward, you're getting more of that flexion. So let's rotate this way? Yep, yep, I'll talk you through it. So okay. let's go hinge from the hips forward and let's get dynamic with it. So drive shin into the ground to bring torso back up. So you should feel that activation on the bottom side thigh uh -huh. and glute area. And then you're gonna use that momentum to kind of twist into this internal rotation. So you should feel that stretch more on right the here. inside. Yep. Yeah. So let's do like five, six of these and then we'll switch. Okay. So hinge forward, drive into the ground, use that momentum to rotate you. Beautiful. So this is an easy warm up to get both <clears throat> rotations in the hip at the same time. Especially biasing more flexion since if you're gonna do squatting or any lunging where you're getting into that hip flexion. Beautiful. For the people, your warm up should always replicate what you're gonna be doing as far as specific ranges during your workouts. So let's go. Flip sides or? Yeah, let's flip sides. And then I also love this move because if you start with it, it's your self-assessment. You'll know, hey, is one hip feeling a little stickier than the other? Are they feeling symmetrical? Is one range for you? We want to work more into that internal rotation, which might feel a little stickier for you. Then before you train and do something dumb, which I know you won't do, but most people, if you are doing a move like this, you're like, man, my left hip is not moving as well as the right. Spend more time with your mobility before you go load it. And it's so crazy how like intentionally like driving out that bottom, like locking it in and pushing up, it gets you way more activation. Dude, especially in that downside glute right there. Yeah. So let's get, this one's common for the people. So let's work more into doing some like 90-90 switches. So uh, I'll hit, 
basically you're already facing me. But if you need to for a couple of reps, you can use your hands to establish that movement. Okay. The same thing, we're gonna hinge, feel big stretch in that bottom side glute. And then I'm trying to use that momentum of driving to get me to the other side. If okay. you need to, you can use hands at first to get that motion down, but. Oh, nice. All right, wait. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk you through it. Yeah. It is <laughs> 6.50 in the morning. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Plus, you're a lot bigger than me. There's nothing wrong with using your hands. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say I, I, I gotta use my hands. <laughs> Beautiful. Do one more on each side and then we're gonna start working into that rotation. Remember that one we did last week where I had you hug and do this movement? Yeah. We're going to do that, but this time in, um, just lying down. Okay. So go ahead, center yourself with the camera feet facing that way. Okay. So I'll show you first. Now that we opened up, I opened up that range passively for you. We worked it into some active stretching. You're going to bend leg at 90 degrees. So we're at this 90, 90 position. Then we're going to rotisserie around the hip here. So I'm going to go into that external rotation or bringing that heel towards my left shoulder or, and then go into that internal rotation, really forcing that uh, ankle and foot outward. Nice. Yeah, and the big thing we wanna start working on is more of that active internal rotation. So quick lesson for the people, there's a difference between flexibility and mobility. Flexibility is your passive range, so actually, Let's go back to facing this way. Okay. So if I check Chris's passive internal rotation, he's got about 10 degrees if we're lucky. I mean, we're working on this right now. And then external rotation, quick math. You're probably at like 52 degrees. No, I don't know if that's <laughs> I mean, I check a lot of range of motion, but it sounds like I know what I'm talking about. Now, actively, try to drive your heel towards me. There you go. So now he has flexibility, but he also has mobility because he's accessing that same range he can get into passively. Now let's go into that external rotation. Beautiful. I'd say you're more at a 45 degree angle, but this should open up as we carve out more. Yeah. So let's go um, legs straight like you are here. Let's go arms all the way out. Nice. You're gonna bring them down here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make fist and you're gonna drive fist into the ground with like 20% of your max effort. So we have a good contraction through the body. The stiffer we are through the body, the easier it is to isolate mobility in one specific joint. So let's go left side, bent up at that 90. Now start to, yep, exactly. Perfect. You could even go half the speed. I really want slow intentional movement here, beautiful. How's it feel going into that internal rotation? Or heel coming this way? Um, tight. Okay. Perfect. Give me one more. And I'm giving you, they're more boring. I know you can handle more. <laughs> you wanna do some med ball tosses? We'll what's get you. Th what's standing or sitting? Um, Good question. <laughs> Let me think about it on this journey. You can definitely handle more weight. Now let's get you standing. What, what, what size? What, you've, been, what? you've been lying too much, it's almost seven. Are we, are we standing or? Yeah, we could stand. So I'll have you like right here and then you can handle more, right? You want me to be a little bit more Ballistic with you? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me see. Uh, 
All right, so you've been practicing this over the last week, so you know really load back in here. We're getting into that internal rotation. Feel that big stretch for the glute and then pop out here. Yeah. Driving it. You want to back up until you're in it? You're good right now. Yeah, no, it's wide enough. Are you, are you in it? Yep. Yeah, but. It'd be cool if just keeping it like a mystery, like where the hell is this ball coming from? Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Best one yet. Nice. So I'm gonna try challenging you getting off balance. So I'm gonna go a little bit wider. Perfect, higher. Low. Beautiful. Fast. Perfect, let's switch. All right, we'll get a couple of normal tosses here. Perfect. Challenging me too, I see. Nice. Coming at you. Nice. Simple but effective. <laughs> oh yeah. No, my, my position requires a lot of like violent twists. So well, when you're, like, you got to be quick. It's that yeah, first. Yeah, everything I do is from that like position. So um, you could do it with a med ball, or I love doing it with a kettlebell. I'll show you here. But if you don't, obviously you can toss it off the wall, yeah. which is probably what you've been doing. But you have to be pretty square to it. But you can even do some like outside swings here just uh -huh. to get, especially if you want to sit, load, Boom. explode. Yeah. Uh, but I love using a kettlebell because you can do repetitive motion and really load into that. Okay. While I grab a kettlebell, do a couple of those really load and then almost like you're uppercutting that ball. Okay. I was like, I picked up a 30. I'm like, wait, this isn't me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go 40. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll show you first. Same exact concept. We're really trying to load because that's where, I mean, depending on what side you are on, you need yeah. to develop that power on both sides. So I'm sure you're familiar with like a traditional kettlebell swing. But what you do is get in that split stance. Again, trying to keep shins basically in the same and then working on rotating through the hips, especially living more into that internal rotation. So you just slowly pendulum whew, until you get a good rhythm. Whew, so really getting into that hip whew, and then whew, I'm really trying to load that big toe on the trail leg, basically this okay. motion to get that kettlebell back up. Plus this helps Train that deceleration, absorbing those forces, okay. especially into that backside hip. Whew, I'm winded. <laughs> I get that cardio. I, I think I like coaching more than training. Nice. You could even go a little bit or more oblique. There you go. Uppercut it, beautiful. Beautiful, one more. Switch sides. It's making me sweat just watching. <laughs> nice. Try to think of that, keeping that bell out to the side. You see how it's kind of getting wrapped around right yeah. there? Yeah, it's got a big ass <laughs> well, hip. <laughs> I was like, I'll never run into that issue. But for you, even you can bias kind of giving it out a little bit. Plus okay. that lets you absorb more than if you're going straight back. Okay. Yeah, so start with little swings just to get it. 
Nice. Perfect. And then for you, actually, on this side, you might even want to drive that toe in. So here, let me see, Bell. So when you're coming back, you kind of fall into this, and then this gets tucked around. If anything, think stronger through the toe, and then don't rotate as much. Keep that bell to the outside instead of letting it come back here. Okay. Make sense? So phew, absorb, phew, explode. Load, explode. Okay. I'm going to need another shower after this. <laughs> Well, now I know going into this, like maybe I'll wait till afterwards. <laughs> yep. Yes. Nice. Better. Nice. One more. Whew. Um, that's a 40, even. What it feel like on that last side compared to the other? My other side feels a little more stable. Yeah. Uh, Did it feel just kind of wobbly in general? I think the more force I would give it. Well, it's, have you ever done this before? Split leg, no. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> uh, well, I introduced the concepts with the med ball last time. Uh, I know you're strong as shit. I know you know how to move. If anything, that's just a coordination thing. Where okay. If you practice this over the next week, I'm expecting that. I've done that. I'm used to know like a med ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but to do repetitive, yeah. it really keeps you into how to control like those internal forces through that fluid movement, yeah. which is really, really cool. Um, how much time? Um, Seven on the dot. Yeah, really, well, well, you, you have more stuff? If anything, I just want to finish with just some cars to solidify some of the changes okay. we just made. Um, let's do that from a quadruped position. So we'll switch spots here. Do you like the, obviously, this is only second um, session doing it here, but kind of last week seeing what limitations, again, you don't have a ton of limitations, but any limitation we want to keep yeah, improving yeah, really, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, as far as building on the concepts that we go step by step instead of just throwing random stuff at you. Uh -huh. You like that progression there? Um, so we did, cars standing up holding on to the rack yeah we're gonna really try to control that motion from this quadruped position so I'm sure you're familiar with this position but what you do is you drive we're going through the full range of motion of the hip okay with intention of course <laughs> so we want to keep almost like a braced core i don't want to move through the spine uh -huh. i'm going to drive knee towards opposite hand till mm -hmm. i run out of real estate again not rounding run out of real estate then i kind of fire hydrant it like a dog, and then try to drive that heel towards the ceiling without moving through the spine. Perfect. And then bring it back down, and then we reverse it. So kick up, drive that knee out, uh -huh. and then back down. It's not going to take much. Of course. <laughs> Protection. Always number one. <laughs> My knees are worth Which less. Go front or we angle this? We'll switch. Let's go side first and we'll go right side. And I'll talk you through it. Okay. Big thing in here is people just do hip circles willy nilly. If I can get you to actively control those ranges, you'll notice a big difference, especially post training. Nice, good spinal position, staying tight through the midsection. Let's drive knee towards opposite hand. Perfect. Now start to fire hydrant or bring that knee outward. So go back down, go out. Yes, perfect. And then try to bring heel up towards the ceiling. Nice, see if you can drive a little bit higher, right there, that's it. Should feel that more in the glute. Now bring it back out. So try to go yes, out, and then back in. Just practice that motion. Nice. Slow, controlled. Because that's the trickiest part when someone's doing a, we call this a controlled articular rotation or car for short. Watch how much this is coming to the ceiling. Nice. You're gonna get better at these. Okay. But you have a lot of 
Matt's leg to move <laughs> compared to me. <laughs> Bro, uh, one of your legs is definitely like, both your legs probably weigh more than me. Let's be real. All right, so let's try on this side. Beautiful. Now remember, you're not trying to rotate here. Super intentional. Yes, better. It's not about the most range of motion as possible. It's about controlling as much as possible. Yes. Beautiful. Nice. And then we'll do one more set. And, but this time I want you to reverse it. So now drive uh, heel towards the ceiling. Okay. So just like, yeah, just like this. Yeah, so if it's easy to kind of mirror me, again, this is probably my good angle. <laughs> We're gonna drive back. So you see if I wanna go as high as possible, now I'm moving through the spine. That's not hip motion, that's lumbopelvic motion. So that's where abs are tight, kicking back. That's about where I can go. Then I try, almost like I'm drawing the biggest circle as possible with my knee. Then I drive outwards okay. and then bring it back. And then we'll just do a good five or six in that range. Yes. Half the speed though. Nice. Yes, really, really good. Beautiful, I'm sure you're feeling that. One more. Beautiful, let's go other side. Watch how much that hip's hiking. Yep, right there. Perfect. Good news is you're getting that hip range Second round feels smoother than the first. Yeah. Okay. Um, again, how often do you ever do these? Like that? Yeah. Never. So I do them every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's the big thing, uh, and I'll coach you through this. Uh, but for those other professionals that are going to be like, "This is not a hip car," um, when you're coming up, it's a lot of this motion opposed to this motion. So. That's where, with mobility training, you don't want to go for as much range as possible. You want to really just solidify the movement range around the joint. Yep. Okay. Now, you need coupled ranges, especially for what you do, but the more mobility we have in individual joints, the more global mobility we'll have overall. Okay. That's the concepts. All right. <laughs>